Hi there. In this video, I will explain how you can extract alternate lines from a text file. Uh, we'll do that using set command. Set is stream editor, and it's a very powerful tool as I already shown you in a couple of earlier videos for line based editing for output streams and also for files. Let's consider that, consider the fact that you have a text file, which looks like this. I have a file in here. Uh, I generated this from a script and uh, the file has a pattern this way where you have the file name in one line the following line contains some information about the file maybe the size the owner um, and the mode bits and the inode number so when you have this kind of interleaved data or, or you know alternate data like this maybe you want to just extract only the file names from this file so I, that means i want to get only the alternate lines from this output so if you want to do that you can use a cd and i can use minus n I will tell you why that minus n switch is required in a while. It's hanging there. So I'll just say cd minus n and I use the script. The script is nothing but I use line number one. But this time, instead of using comma, I'm just going to use tilde. When I use line number one, tilde, I will say two. That means every second line must be extracted from line number one. That means line number one, line number three, line number five, and so on. So when I, when I try to put it and I'll say print, and if I just try to put this file, file audit dot log, you can see it extracts only the file name part of it. To give you a more clear understanding, let me show you a file that as an example file I have here, which has got contents which are very consistent. Like you can see line number one, line number two, line number three, you can see them up to 20 lines, right? So if at all I run the same script, if I say set minus N, and say one tilde and say two p p is for print print every second line from first line it means one first line plus two that's three then third line plus two that's five so this is think of this as a step value right the starting line number and the step value print so you can just provide this and we just try say a dot txt you could see that it prints line number one line number three line number five line number seven so every alternate lines are print printed in fact, you can provide the step value as five, for instance. You can see that prints line number one. One plus five is six. So line number six is printed. Yeah, and six plus five is 11. If you want to print um, the actual line number five, line number 10, and so on, maybe you can um, try to start from zero. So zero. So you'll start from line number five, line number 10, line number 15. You can see this way. Up to line number 20 right so you can actually use this you can specify the starting line and you use a tilde symbol to indicate the step value and you specify the step value and you say print and this is how you do it now you might ask me why this minus n switch is required if i don't use the minus n switch it look a little confusing just see this for all i say say a cd without a minus n switch if i try to say one tilde 2p okay i'll give the file name error txt you can observe that line number one is repeated twice. Line number two is repeated once. Line number three is repeated twice. Line number four, repeated once. By default, a CD command will print the input pattern at the output. You don't want a CD to print the input pattern to the output, then you can use minus n switch. This is a very convenient feature. Uh, if you don't use minus n switch, the another alternative is rather than, um, you know, what you can do is you can use delete instead of printing. So for example, I want to delete all the alternate lines from the output one other option is i can use one tilde two and say d from the input pattern alternate lines are deleted and the output is printed now you can see it prints line number two line number four line number six line number eight it goes on all the way to 20. maybe you want to start from uh, zero you can see you get the original info yeah it looks a little counterintuitive because you want to say that you want to delete lines but you don't want to say delete i want to extract only its alternate lines then it makes sense to use minus n switch minus n actually indicates don't print the input pattern to the output by default right so if i like if i try to say lcd and um, if i just if i just provide a file name right i just provide a file name like zero.txt okay it expects a script what i'll do is i'll say lcd empty script zero.txt so basically this this is the first argument is an empty script Sorry, the first argument is an empty script. Okay, I think here it is. Yeah, empty script that indicates uh, open close quotes and then I provide the file name. Now, 
By default, the input lines are printed to the output. Do I do not provide any command in a CD script, right? Suppose if I just provide just P, it prints every line twice. You can see that? Lines are repeated twice. But if I try to use a CD minus N and P, it's printed only once. Why? Because a CD minus N, if you provide an empty script, it does not print any, any input pattern to the output. It only prints them when you use explicitly the print command, right? So that's why we are using this particular feature. So when we when we to, to extract alternate lines, I use this technique. Press it. ACD minus N one tilde two P, and in of error txt this time, I'm going to use the file file audit dot log. So when I try when I try the file file audit dot log. Only the file names are printed. The alternate lines that give you some file info. They have been skipped. This could be a quite useful feature when you're dealing with any kind of input data which has alternating format of data or format of lines, and you want to get one set of them while leaving out the other set. You could use this technique. Hope you found this video useful. Um, if you do like it, so please do comment so I can make more future videos in the same line. Thank you very much.